All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Show. I bring you another Madden 18 preview. Something a little bit different today. This might be more characterized as a rant than an actual uh, Madden 18 preview. Uh, I'm going to try to mix them together to be real about it. A little while ago, I did a video called my Madden 18 wish list, and I thought I was pretty thorough, but like most of my videos, after I'm done, I have uh, something that I wish I would have put into it or I, I find something even better. Even when I make my, my money play videos or my defensive videos, I'm always finding stuff after the fact. I'm like, man, I wish I'd have put that in there. Sometimes I even re-release the video uh, with those changes because it's that groundbreaking. So I decided to make a video about uh, some an idea that I had after the fact uh, from my wish list video where I thought it was good enough to have its own video, basically. Um, I had an idea and I went into some detail in my Madden 18 video, uh, my wish list video, uh, about some issues that I had with uh, CFM and how I wanted them to ultimately, uh, you know, resolve that. But I came up with something, I came up with an actual method that I thought could do it. Um, and in that video, I thought that it would be helpful if, um, you know, commissioners either had more control or less control or a combination of both. Uh, because I think one of the things that ruins uh, Madden Leagues more quicker than anything is bad commissioners. And that sucks for people that have their teams and they put in the work and they, they build up a team they really like and then they lose it. Uh, that's why I ultimately stopped um, playing CFM this year is because I was I don't have a reliable league in PlayStation that I'm on. I might play a league next year in, in Xbox and let you guys uh, see how that looks week to week because I still really enjoy CFM, but there's just so many issues that destroy it and I have an idea that I think can fix it. And for me, it's really simple. The idea, um, like I said, I, I still, I'm still still for commissioners having more control in certain ways. Uh, like, you know, they should be able to customize things, and reset records and, you know, undo things and stuff like that. But at the same time, I think that when it comes to them penalizing people or uh, making up rules, I think that should be taken out of the commissioner's hands because you see some ridiculous rules in so-called sim football leagues uh, that are not realistic. Uh, so one of my ideas, which I already put out, was there should be a setting. And I'm not sure if Madden addressed this or not because they did announce officially that they do have settings for gameplay. And I think the settings are something like simulation, arcade, and uh, competitive. Um, now, I don't know if that affects, how, how far that affects what, and I also don't know um, if that's something that is gonna be instituted in the, in, the, in the single games or an entire season, entire CFMs. That'll be really interesting. I'm hoping that I got my wish there and they finally have a simulation setting so that commissioners can co stop coming up with gigantically stupid rules uh, to suit themselves. But the idea that I came up with, regardless of, of whether or not that's true, because people are going to make up rules for their leagues anyway, regardless of how thorough Madden is, uh, people are still stupid and they're going to come up with bullshit to uh, to stick in their Facebook page like, oh, you got to follow these rules or they're going to kick you out. It happens in every league. But what I came up with is a very simple democratic voting process that should uh, be in play so that if somebody is found in fraction of a rule or what have you, whatever whatever the issue is, um, that there should be something, just like in the NFL, I mean, the leagues vote on rule changes. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in the Madden community, you, you, you hear one person or one group of people bitch about something and get the commissioner's ear to the point where they think it's a bigger issue than it is, and then they just institute rules. Where in reality, uh, they have something called, in the NFL, they have something called the, um, I forget the name of it, but it's in the post in the off season, they have, uh, you know, meetings with the owners, the owner meeting, duh. They have the owners meetings and they vote on rule changes and they all can, you know, bring bring their own rule changes and stuff like that. And then if it gets enough votes, it passes. Where, like I said, in, in, in you know, CFM, you just have one or two guys bitching that might be really good friends with the commissioner. Next thing you know, you got rules geared towards the good players, typically. It's not typically geared towards the bad players. You could be a bad player, nobody's ever going to bother you with rules. You're a good player, and it's like, watch you like a hawk. And I guess that's somewhat realistic. I think the Patriots kind of get that a little bit more uh, than some other teams. But then again, they also cheat realistically. So um, so I think that would just be a really good adjustment to um, to put, in the, and put into, into the franchise mode. And I think it would be real simple. I mean, I, I went as far as to say it should be like a 50%. If 50% of the vote pass, somebody... You know, they can institute a rule or a person can get penalized for breaking a rule, but you have to have, like I said, half the, the members vote. That might be a little bit of an issue because a lot of times members aren't uh, active, but that's really on the commissioner to make sure that they keep active members in the league, which most good leagues do anyway. Um, but, you know, that would be something that I think that would really take the power out of their hands uh, and not make them, you know, not put so much on them. Plus, it would also be um, 
you know, it could be like a blind vote. It wouldn't have to be, you know, nobody would have to get, uh, you know, put on a, you know, put out there with their opinion. They could just, they could just check a box. Nobody would ever know who voted positive. No one would ever know who voted negative. Uh, so that'd be a good way to, you know, even if you're friends with somebody, because a lot of times somebody, you know, they might want you to have their back just because you're friends with them. And it's like, there's, there's so many different ways to mess with that. But even if you're friends with them, you can, you know, through a, through a silent vote, just say, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a good rule and, you know, not, not pick it. So I think that's, you know, it's a simple um, way to make it a democratic process. And I didn't just stop playing leagues because of bad commissioners. That's a major part of it. There are a lot of good commissioners that just have bad communities in their leagues too. Um, you know, where where players just, you know, it's, it's not all bad commissioners that ruin leagues, but I think this is something that'll make it at least even and fair. Um, like I was saying also, as far as, you know, I think how many people vote, like say somebody does break a rule and gets penalized, it shouldn't have to be a straight half uh, the people vote and that person gets penalized. Maybe you can have something where if only five people agree, then maybe you lose like a fourth round pick or if half the league agrees you lose a first round pick or something they could they could really um you know judge it based there's, there's a lot of things to, to work with it's kind of a rough idea but it's something that you know I, I know ea probably does their due time listening to the community so if they see this great you know they could institute this into something great if not it's no big deal like i said you can still you know leagues are really only fun if you know the people running it so i'll probably be in a league next year uh, with people that I know running it so I can get a fair shake uh, because otherwise you know people like me that, that rarely lose just kind of get singled out and uh, especially when people the last league I was in I got essentially booted out people were coming at me like you know pitchfork and, and, and torch style uh, because I hadn't lost a game and they, I guess they just you know they just secretly relent you know they just secretly watch that and just get they just I don't know when they heard I had a YouTube channel that was it you know what I'm saying? I was seeing all these nasty posts. I'm like, dude, I ain't got time for this. You know what I'm saying? It's not that serious to me. So I just went full mutt because mutt, they can't take away your team. You know what I'm saying? That's the best way to go. So that's what I ended up doing. Uh, but I do miss CFMs. There's some great stuff to CFMs. There's a community element to CFM that you don't get playing mutt by yourself. So it's a really good, uh, it's a really great way to play the game um, if you're in the right one, like I said. So I think this would help to make sure they're all like that. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Uh, real quick video, just an idea that I had. Um, you know, so if you guys hit the like button, do me a favor, you know, hit the like button. So hopefully this video will be on the first page. So if EA ever looks this up, they'll find it. I'm not going to send it directly to them. Uh, if you agree though, also do me a favor, share this on your, um, if you're, a lot of leagues are run on Facebook and stuff like that. So if you think that, yeah, that's a really good idea and you're tired of the BS you see in, um, you know, in your own, uh, CFM because there's BS in every one of them, man, that's the problem. Uh, but if you agree with it, you know, share this in there, let everybody watch it, let them know, um, you know, maybe you can institute this privately. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to be something that EA institutes. Because a lot of leagues, I've been in leagues in the past where they actually did a really good job of trying to make it as democratic as possible. I went, I was in one league, it, it, it overdid it. You know what I'm saying? It was trying to like make, like you had a union. You know what I'm saying? Like in this league, it was so stupid. It was like, like I get like you want to be fair, but it's like this isn't real life. Like they were trying to make it like real life. They had like, and I was the funny part about it. I joined the league and after like a week or two, I was like the union representative. Like they came at me like, "Ooh man, you want to be union rep?" Like what? Just because I like to argue? You know what I'm saying? And I didn't like to argue that much. They had like meetings, like union meetings, and like it was like it just was so like, dude, this is not real life. Like you guys are going, <laughs> you guys are going overboard with this. So you know, I know leagues that are like that too. I mean, it's it's amazing. I wish somebody could do like an investigative type of like report like go out and like check out how people run these leagues it, it's a different world it really is like you can make a real interesting show like like uh, like an investigatory you know 60 minute style of show of how crazy people get in their madden leagues um but like i said it's you know i i think it's something that needs to be explored uh, madden needs to have as much stuff through the game as possible so it's it less user error you know what i'm saying just, just take people out of it because people really at the end of the day no matter who you are, you have something to gain by 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 instituting rules. You know what I'm saying? Fair or unfair, you're you're losing and you're mad. You're gonna you're gonna have a slanted opinion on whether or not a rule should be a rule based on the fact that you're losing. You know what I'm saying? You have something to gain by instituting unfair rules. So you know, I think Madden should really try to take as much out of the people's hands as possible. That's why I like just regular you know mutt ranked or whatever. You don't like that I beat you. What are you gonna do about it? You know what I'm saying? You can't institute a rule about it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I just played the game to the same effect that you could have played played the game, but you can't come at me after the fact and basically like you have to win an argument after you win the game in leagues. You know what I'm saying? It's like man, I got time for that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to win the game, go about my life. I don't want to win the game and then be battling somebody on Facebook like, yo man, you cheated. That was luck. 
This shouldn't. You're not allowed to do this. I think he ran his plate too many times. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's so stupid. But like I said, I hopefully uh, this next season I'll have some some online CFM gameplay for you guys um, through. Uh, league that a friend of mine runs on xbox he might very well be watching this video so do me a favor if you guys want to see that cfm play hit the like button as well uh because i know a lot of people play cfm it's like i said it really is one of the best it really can be one of the best game modes but you know what i'm saying people people make it make it an issue so that's it i'm running kind of long i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna end it on that hit me hit the like button for me no matter what all right thanks for watching that money shout out Hey, you made it to the end of the video, which means either you like the content you're watching or you fell asleep halfway through. Either way, if you hit the subscribe button, you can catch all my videos now releasing daily. Thanks for watching.